We're back, my friends. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh my gosh. It's been too long since I made a video. I'm so sorry. I've just been so busy. I've been so busy, my friends. Oh man, we got some events to talk about though. I definitely uh I just been busy with streaming. I haven't had time working and streaming. I haven't had time to get a video out, but we're gonna I got a video real quick we're gonna do today. We got some events going on. Let's uh let's check the blogs. <clears throat> Alright, so um okay, so here's the big thing we got guys. We have a second researcher queue. So when the game first started out, one of the big things that people were like going for was um the second builder. Well we finally is what a year later, we finally have so I feel like it's longer than a year. I don't know how long it's been. <laughs> it's been a long time. But we finally have a second researcher queue. So if you guys want you can actually unlock a second research. So you can be working on two researches at a time, but I don't recommend this at all. I think this is a complete waste. And the only way to unlock it is, look at this, ready? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It says to go to the, yeah. You got to go to the gold store and you got to go drop a good old, hundred dollars if it, it'll, it'll sh if it ever loads up okay it's not gonna load up we got you got to drop a hundred dollars just to get that no no thanks I'm not I'm good I would say don't do it because most of the time the way that the game's been going you kind of can instant train you know your research and you can bang out research like that even even then you still have like uh speed ups you can use speed ups to just power through so you can insta train your research or you can use speed ups this this second research is a waste don't waste a hundred dollars please don't please don't and we got a realm boss the realm boss is back the uh the the mech realm boss that drops the um gems see i didn't i didn't get a chance to make a video the first time he came around he came around a couple what was like a couple weeks ago not too long ago he was already here and now he's back so he drops some amazing stuff um he drops these chests and they the chests have uh high level gems and these gems are amazing i mean they got like you know increased attack of your astral which is insane they got this one which is amazing defending your empire i mean look at this level 15 gems this is insane almost 10,000 hp uh i mean this is this is pretty good this this gem gem realm boss is definitely like definitely needed all right so we're gonna head back over here and i'm gonna show you guys a little trick although i'm sure you guys um oh god see i have let's go hit it let's go hit the uh We'll go do a hit right now while I'm talking. Here's the big boy. He's down here. I'm gonna go max attack him. Oh, he drops the um crafting scrolls too. He drop he drops the crafting scrolls too. I've been working on uh which I actually haven't done at all. <clears throat> so I've actually been working on this since the since the first time he came by. I was working on this. So let me show you. I uh. I didn't have any of this maxed out. Now I have all this maxed out. I didn't have, my crafting research was bad. I didn't have like, I had hardly anything researched. Now I got all this maxed out. I finally got para, 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 Paragon gem slots open. So I'm looking pretty good. I mean, I definitely have enough uh, crafting research scrolls where I can I can easily like gold all this. I can max all these out. It's just a, It's just a matter of time. I just don't have the time to sit here and play it like I, like I used to. Um, I, again, and I also I think I can get. Uh, I'm, um, I've been putting in a lot of work, as you can see. I'm a 61 now. I think I have enough uh, supplies to get T7 troops, but again, I just haven't had time to research everything. <clears throat> but with the um, the realm boss, we get this little chest right here, right? So engage the realm boss ten times, and it will increase your multiplier by one. So every every ten times you attack it. Your multiplier will go up by one. Uh, the rewards, this is your rewards. So you have your first chest, 
your second chest, your third chest, your fourth chest, so forth, so on. And they all get increasingly better. The downfall is in order to get this rewards, you need a Cyber Monday Ultimate Rewards Key. And the first one you get is kind of free. They do give you one kind of free. So I'm going to jump over to the uh, thing. So right here. So there's this Realm Boss event. And if you engage the Realm Boss, you get points. But the first tier right here gives you a key. Um, and then after that, it's kind of just, you know, it's kind of just, that one's pretty good. That's a lot of MP. Um, it's kind of just resources and stuff. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, the MP is pretty good, though. <clears throat> so you get your first key almost for free, as long as you just keep hit the realm boss. But after that, in order to, you know, unlock this one, you need to first claim the first one. And then you can claim the second tier and then the third tier. But the only other way, the only way to get the other keys is to buy them for a hundred dollars which i i just i can't justify it it's just this game is money 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 once you to spend so much money they really should put like an <clears throat> another way for you to get keys like giving us one is giving us one to kind of work towards is good but they should give us more ways to get them instead of spending money um, and then another thing I learned, I, I never got to put this out. The first time the Realm Boss came around, a lot of people just instantly claimed and used their keys. And I didn't get, like, one of the guild members, uh, one of my guild members found out very fast not to claim your key until your multiplier is at its highest. So you want to wait until your multiplier is as high as you can get it. So right here, it's got 7 hours and 30, so I would, you know, wait wait until you know the last minute to, to claim it just make sure you don't forget because I almost forgot I came back and I reclaimed mine with like a minute left but you want to make sure your reward multiplier is as high as it goes because this will increase this this will increase your goal this will increase this so uh, you'll get 10 uh, right now I'll get 10 gems and, and this much this amount of gold if I claim it now but you know if I keep hitting the realm boss these numbers are gonna go up which, that's what I'm looking for. So, uh, I'll go show you a hit. Let's go show you guys um, one of my hits we just did. So, let's go check this out. Oh, my God. Somebody scouted me. Oh, my God. These people are, are r ridiculous. So, like, I haven't been able to... Uh, I haven't been able to build my troops up or really do anything. I just haven't had the time. So, they're always after my hero. So, here's a quick trick in case you guys don't know. Rally your hero for some dead... Citadel put eight hour rally Put your hero on there and then just put like the lowest amount of troops like I just do this. That's it That's it Now my hero is safe So what this does is this puts your your hero in a loop of eight hours That they'll just be in a rally, but they won't be in the Citadel I feel like a lot of people already know this, but in case you don't know it, that's what you do to save your hero. If you don't want a bubble, or if you don't have a bubble, you can just do that. Especially when you sleep. When I go to sleep, I rally my hero for eight hours. And then I, I send him far away, though. So that way, you know, it takes him an hour to get there, and then an hour back. So I get, like, ten hours of safety time. <clears throat> but yeah, these people have been relentless trying to get my hero, because I have no troops, really. All right, so let's let's check out the hit. So I hit it 38 times. Let's see, we got you get see what I mean. You get a, I got so many crafting research scrolls. It's ridiculous. Uh, got some of this, some marble gem research scroll. That's pretty cool. You get some metals too. Here we go. Here we go. This is the big one. The gem chest, 38. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, let's go see I just wanna we're gonna show you guys real quick if I can find it here we go I got 94 of these bad boys ready this is what happens when you open up 94 of these look at the amount of gems we get look at this ready 
four level eight assault jet. Like this is insane, guys. Like you guys need you need to get on this. Look at this. <coughs> the amount the, the the levels are ridiculous. The amount you get is ridiculous. I haven't even like combined my gems or put them into my weapons or anything. Like I'm pretty sure I could defend very well. Like that's what I'm kind of working towards is just being a defender at this point cuz in order to be an attacker, you got to spend a lot of money. And I can't do that. But I mean the the, the amount of stuff, the amount of gems you get is just insane. It's insane. I love it. Um, and then we have another event going on. The Winter of Your Discontent. So let's check this one out. This one's almost over. This one was only 24 hours. So you got kill uh, one of any troop type with a hero. Uh, release a captured hero. Attack uh, tier 1 troops. Kill tier 2. It's got all the different tiers and you get different points. The, bon the, the rewards are okay. Uh, the first tier one, you get March speed ups, uh, troop train resources, and then you get this Oracle blessing for troop training, which is kind of cool. Tier two, this isn't enough. Like, it's only 30. I need hundreds to, to level up my Shiva. I don't even know what level my Shiva is. My Shiva is not even that high. My Shiva is like less than level 20. Um, this is this this is kind of good. This is pretty good. I mean, this would be this would be the only thing that's worth it is the tier three. But I mean, it's a lot of points. You get a teleport, which is good. You get the elite ascension, but you get three thousand two hundred one billion Noctis XP, which is insane. That's pretty good. If you can get it, I mean, this is this is really good. I would definitely like if you can get it. But the first two, first two are kind of uh, kind of iffy. Kind of iffy, guys. And um, that's really all that's been going on. Oh, they have this other event, too, for this. So if you use a crafting research scroll, every time you use one crafting research scroll, you get a point. A gem research scroll, you get a point. This is in the research. Um, this is gem savers are useless. The, the amount of VIP they've been throwing at us, you get to the VIP level where you don't even need gem savers because you, you, have, you unlock a, a permanent permanent gem saver so you can take you know gems out whenever you want this is a useless reward like they need to do better this is useless and what else what else tier two is the same thing this is useless this is dead that's a dead reward you don't it does nothing for me this is good this is good again like 75 is not enough it's it's not enough for the amount of stuff you gotta like put in it's not enough the five uncommon gem chests it's it's like nothing compared to the 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 realm boss uh gem we get the guy that the realm boss gem gem dropper is insane so this is pointless this is okay i guess like, a lot of these rewards are like they're not worth it it's not it's nothing good it's nothing worth grinding for really it's not worth wasting your time trying to sit there and keep doing it like, there's so much other, better, more productive things you could be doing. But if you want to go for it, you go for it. <clears throat> but uh, that's really all that's been going on. Um, who's scouting me? Dragon Ball K. This guy. These people, man. They don't leave me the hell alone. Oh, this was this was one of my hits that I, I think I did a max attack almost on this one. Yeah, I got like 56 hits on this one. I got wow, I, I got 25,000 crafting research scrolls. See, like one max attack and you're like you're good to go. I got 56 gem chests. But um, oh, and we got these bonuses too because my my realm did good in the RVR. But that is it, guys. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope I helped you out. I hope I helped you save your hero about the eight-hour rally in case you didn't know. I hope you learned not to uh, use your – don't use your key yet until you got the highest reward possible. 
I mean, probably a lot of people already know about that. But in case you don't, I hope I helped you out. And I will see you guys next time. And if you don't already know, I live stream on Twitch during the week. I will put my link below. And uh, if you guys want, come check me out. We, uh, we have a lot of fun on stream. We play different games. We laugh. We got bean boozled. Every time somebody donates a hundred bits or a dollar, they get to spin the bo the bean boozled wheel. And uh, I gotta eat one of the jelly beans. God, yesterday, yesterday was insane. Yesterday I live stream. I got, I had to eat like four beans. I got dog food twice. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. But uh, yeah, for real, go. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate every single viewer, every single person. Support me or not, I don't care. I still love you. Thank you, though, for watching. This is the one and only Pistol Pete signing out. See ya. Oh, yeah. We fire off gunshots, too, for new followers. So make sure you follow when I'm live streaming. So you get, I don't know if it's going to fire. I might have to reload. So you get a gunshot just for you. Make sure you come by so we get a gunshot off for you. See ya.